Hello YouTube, we've had uh, many requests for a Pac-Man Frog care video. Uh, I'm doing a quick, you know, just basic setup video, what you will need to take care of a Pac-Man Frog for his whole life. So, right now, believe it or not, we are looking at everything you will need for your Pac-Man Frog for his whole life. But first, let's see Mr. Pac-Man. Alright, here he is. He's just a little green Pac-Man. Uh, I'm more Nate. Uh, he's in a smaller setup than him, and he is smaller than him, so I'm gonna be switching them to put him in a larger setup. But, first, let's go over everything you guys need to set this up. Alright, this is, uh, as you can see, it's, you know, Coconut Fiber Eco Worth. Uh, you know, just put in the bucket. Uh, rinse it out a little, and put it in there, you know, fill it up, three to four inches, depending on your frog size, uh, and you'll need a, uh, either a, you can use an aquarium, terrarium if you want, I prefer the bins for the Pac-Man frogs because they love the humidity, uh, they don't need a tall tank, and just everything like that. Uh, and they actually just just seem to eat better in the bins, and they're just warm and cozy in their little bins. So, but if you do get a bin, you will need to cut holes in it. If you could see those, some holes all along the grooves and just everywhere. I don't really like putting them in the side of the cage because, you know, that's just too close to the frog for me. But in this one, I do have them. Because it is a double stack. If you guys want to see what this is. There's my fantasy. And then I have more NATO on top. So, eco worth and a bin. All you need for a Pac-Man frog. Uh, you can feed him a mouse a month. Get him real fat. Get him obese. You know, get an unhealthy frog. Or you can feed him insects. Something lighter. And then we'll... Uh, not be as fat, but be much more healthier, stronger bones. I recommend dusting, dusting their food. Not too much. Some of this, or some of this. If you guys see this setup, there's two male pixie frogs, believe it or not, they don't fight. My tomato frog's new setup. Just an example of some other Pac-Man setups. I have some moss around this this guy's water bowl. I do use a water bowl for my larger Pac-Man just because they will go in there by themselves more. Here's another bin example. This is the blue bin, and I have a water bowl in there. And he's just taking it easy in there. Um. So, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys. Alright, he's in his new setup, and he's in his... Tell me what you guys think. There's the Pac-Man setup and care video. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you should soak your frogs at least once a week. If you don't have a water bowl for them, I would just put them in this. Uh, put some tepid or warm water, warmish water. And you can use tap water, it doesn't matter. These frogs are really hardy, they won't die from a little chlorine in all water. Uh, but yeah, just soak them, you know, and get all that shit out. Uh, you gotta clean their cages, guys. Clean the poop. Just make sure they're clean, clean, clean. Replace the eco worth. Do what you need to do to keep these frogs healthy because they will develop bacterial infections, fungal growth. You don't want any of that stuff, guys. It's nasty. You don't want any worms. 
It's gross, man. Trust me. It's not fun to lose a frog. But these guys are healthy. Healthy as can be and jumping. Jumping around. I don't have any sick frogs, guys. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about the setup. I don't care. Alright, goodbye, West Coast Amphibian, signing out.